It is time to talk about David Fincher's new movie that is on Netflix called The Killer. Um, it was available in limited release for a few weeks, um, and has now hit streaming on Netflix as it is a Netflix original movie. Um, I must say that this is easily one of the best Netflix movies made. Um, I was very excited to watch it, mostly due to the fact that I saw Michael Fassbender on the cast, and I'm a big Michael Fassbender fan, um, but this film is... I didn't know what I was expecting, but to be fair, I wasn't really expecting action. I was expecting more suspenseful, kind of like a thriller vibe, but instead I got a little more, I got more action than I was expecting, which was totally fine with me, and this revenge story that really kind of reminded me of John Wick at points, um, just something I have to point out due to the fact that it, it did make me feel like I was sort of seeing the same revenge plot as John Wick, uh, the first John Wick movie. Um, although while John Wick has, like, a bit more world building to it in the background, this one is exclusively character driven. It's mostly about the niche details in how the character acts. He, he's, like, borderline near an obs- like, having OCD, obsessive compulsion disorder due to the fact that he always has to make sure everything is clean, everything is concise, to stick to the plan, don't improvise, anticipate. It's a very well-crafted narrative that is based off of a graphic novel and apparently is a passion project of David Fincher. Um, the story, as I mentioned, it is pretty simple. It is just a fairly simple revenge plot. Um, but the way it is executed is what makes it interesting. Um, but story-wise, it'll have to be a Hot Pockets core. Um, the cinematics, this was beautifully shot. There was a lot of music that I really think enhances the scenes. Um, as it was also all, all the music was diegetic, which is a very interesting choice. Um, I really enjoyed everything that they showed. The action sequences were good. The visual effects were good. Everything about this film was actually just phenomenal um hand grenade score there directing my goodness david fincher did a great job with this film and it could be told that the killer is sort of like as i saw in many letterbox reviews when uh i was after i watched the film um a lot of the letterbox reviews were talking about like how this is pretty symbolic of David Fincher himself, actually, as he is very methodical filmmaker, make sure that he captures the same scene multiple times to make sure everything is perfect. As you may have heard from the story involving, um, what's it called? So the social network and how the, sh the computer scene was reshot like 74 times or something like that. It's very methodical. It's a very well thought out. It is very much planned, no improvise no improvisation so easy hand grenade score there um acting there's not really much to go off of other than michael fassbender and if michael fassbender's performance was pretty poor in this film i do think that this would be a weaker film but thankfully michael fassbender probably puts on a performance of a lifetime that unfortunately will go without an academy award due to the fact of how many great performances were this year <laughs> Um, in any other year, I think this would be a front runner for an Oscar, maybe except for last year, as last year was a bit of a wild, wild west, and this year is also a bit of a wild, wild west. But it would be, it it should get a nomination, in all honesty. It had the limited theatrical run, it has everything to it had to do to get a nomination, which I'm very excited for. Um, to see as Michael Fassbender should be um, acknowledged for this role as he did a phenomenal job as the killer who went by so many names in this film. Um, so easy, easy, easy hand grenade score there. Um, and last but certainly not least, expectations and experience. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I was not really expecting as much action, but the action really made it fun. The kills were absolutely brutal. It was kind of reminiscent of a slasher at points with how he was killing, except you were rooting for the slasher villain instead of, you know, the people running away from the killer. 
it was a true flip on its head of concept. Um, so I will, I'm definitely planning now a rewatch of this as I feel like I missed some details, but I'm definitely gonna have to rewatch this. And so this is an easy hand grenade movie. I'm very excited for a rewatch. I might rewatch this uh, multiple times. I might have to show it to some friends, have them watch it as I rewatch it. It's just a great film. Um, truly a great movie. Um, this is a certified hand grenade film. I don't know what else to say. Um, other than that, subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you enjoyed my review. And leave a comment down below on your thoughts of the film. And other than that, I will leave you guys to it.